Hello and welcome to NTC Reviews. Today I'm going to be going over how to utilize your Ledger Nano X with Helium and specifically the Helium wallet. So there's a command line interface or CLI module that works with HNT and Ledger and that's what I'm going to go over in order for us to be able to create an HNT wallet on your Ledger Nano X. And then once we create that HNT wallet on our Ledger, I will go over on how to import it into the HNT wallet or their newest wallet that they came out with the black icon. Now, a lot of this information has been discussed and repeated on the internet uh, quite often, but I did have a few subscribers reach out to me over the last uh, month or so, especially since uh, HNT is making this move to Solana and uh, all the issues that are happening with, uh, uh, let's say, centralized exchanges and other exchanges that are locking people out of their cryptocurrency, going bankrupt, and holding a cryptocurrency, so to speak, a hostage for the clients that trusted their exchange. So with all of this information going on and a little bit of panic, people are a lot more interested in cold wallets than they were, let's say, a year ago. But after watching those tutorials, they were still a bit confused, so they asked me if I could go into something a little bit more detailed. So please keep in mind, this is gonna be a relatively long video, but if you do have the information or you're comfortable with a lot of the information that I'm conveying, hopefully you'll be able to skip ahead with the chapters and get the information that you are looking for or uh, just brush up on some information or just listen to my take on it so that we all help each other to get where we need to be. This video is sponsored by CryptoTag. I actually reached out to them. I discussed what I had on my mind for this video and they decided to send me one of their Zeus models, uh, Seed Backup, as well as a brand new Nano X. And uh, just as importantly, I got my Stroop Waffle. Always a great treat. And anytime I receive anything from uh, CryptoTag, they usually throw one or two of these in there. So uh, pretty cool, very thankful for that. Now, before I go any further, as far as the backup and probably one of the most important takes that you're gonna take uh, from this video is backing up your seed phrase. So think of your seed phrase as uh, 12 words or 24 words usually. Uh, they come in that configuration that are your private keys or your password, so to speak, for your cold wallet. Now, one thing that you have to keep in mind is you're getting all of this added security by having a cold wallet and it not being online where it can be subjected to being hacked, uh, being exploited, uh, being held ransom, so to speak, because uh, these exchanges are running out of money and going bankrupt. And now you don't have access to your crypto. Well, if you put it in your cold wallet, you're the one that has access, you're the one that has 100% control, but you're also 100% responsible. So if you were to lose these words, seed phrase, 12 words, 24 words, you will no longer have access to your coins. So it's a big responsibility. So what was customary was always getting a piece of paper, writing down those 12 or 24 words, putting them in a safe place, and know that when you need them, they're there for you. The issue with writing things down on paper is that it doesn't work well with fire or with water and uh, other hazards that are out there. So these seed backups are made of high-end metal in order to protect you against fire, protects you against flood. Uh, CryptoTag even discusses that these are bulletproof and there's all sorts of specs on their website if you wanna check that out. Once again, it's their claim. I haven't shot any of these yet. Now, if you want more detailed information on this Zeus seed backup, I have a review that I had done uh, about a year ago, uh, maybe a little bit longer and I will link that in the description as well as pin it up here now. So remember, you lose your keys, you lose your crypto. Okay, so now that we got all that information out of the way, let's get into how to utilize this ledger. And once again, I am starting from scratch, so I am going to unbox it, plug it in, load the software to configure the ledger live just to begin with, and then from there, we will start incorporating the HNT token. So let's get started. Okay, so I unboxed my ledger, I plugged it in, had a bit of a charge already. Now in order to operate this little Nano X, pretty simple, there's a right button and a left button. In order to cycle through, you'll use these buttons either to go left or right and cycle through the menu. And to select, you would click both of them at the same time. So I plugged it in, there's some instructions there. Hit the right mouse button to continue or right button to continue. It wants you to go ahead and download the ledger live. We'll do that in a few minutes, keep pressing right. Navigate, 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 press both buttons to select everything that I just basically went through. So now as we're going through this, we want to either set up a new device or it also gives you the option to restore. For the purpose of this video, we're going to set up a new device. So I'll go ahead and first thing it wants to do is for us to select a four to eight digit 
passcode. Now this passcode is specific to your Nano X, has nothing to do with your 24 word seed phrase, it's just to be able to get in and out of this wallet. Uh, for the purposes of this, I'm just going to pick a four digit code because I'm going to wipe out this wallet as soon as I'm done with this video. So let's go ahead and select that and it gives you the first number. I'll cycle through with the left and let's say I'm just going to pick 1111. Okay, it's right there. I'm going to select that. It's going to ask me to confirm. So now it's time to write down the 24 words that's or the important seed phrase that I had been speaking about pretty much throughout this video so far. So we're going to go ahead and it's going to assign us these 24 words randomly. And we're going to go ahead and have to write them down. And just cycle through, press both keys to continue, and there is our first word. So I'll go ahead and get that, write that down, and then cycle through all 24 words, have them written down, and then proceed to the next step. Inside the Nano X box, there are a couple of these sheets in order for you to be able to write down your 24 words. And remember my recommendation, write them down on this during setup. From here, transfer it to your crypto tag so that you have a good real backup that you could actually uh, confide in. And then from this, you can go ahead and shred it, burn it. I would suggest burn it. Okay, so we got the 24 words written down. Now we have to confirm our recovery phrase. So once again, I'll hit both keys. It'll show me what the word number one was. I'll match it up with my sheet and know that it is abstract. So I'll go ahead and click that in. The second word that I have is differ. So I'll go ahead and cycle through looking for differ. There's differ. Select it. We're good to go. Moves on to number three. And you're going to do that for all 24 words. Okay, so I'm confirming the last word here for the 24 words. And your recovery phrase is set. So I'll go ahead, pan through, it tells you all the stuff that I've basically told you already not to lose any of this. Click both buttons, processing, and we should be good to go and uh, get back to the next step. Your device is ready. Now we'll switch over to the computer in order to download the Ledger Live as well as the Ledger HNT CLI. Okay, so I'm on a Ledger website here and I will place all the links that I'm using in the description and in my blog post, so be sure to check that out and I am downloading the Windows app. Um, I do use a Mac for my own personal use. The uh, friends and subscribers that asked me to put this together all use Windows and install the program just like you do any other program on Windows. Okay, so now it's time to open up our Ledger Live app since it is installed. We're gonna go ahead and select the Ledger Nano X. Okay, from here, I already have a recovery phrase, so all we have to do is connect it. Uh, go back to the ledger. It's asking me to allow the ledger live to connect. I'm going to go ahead, select both buttons. And you want to make sure that your ledger Nano X is up to date. So always check that out. Check out the firmware at the main screen in Ledger Live after having it installed. You're going to want to go over to settings. And from here, you want to go into experimental features. Once you're in experimental features, you want to go ahead and select developer mode. Clicked on my ledger brings me to this area. Okay, from here we want to install our Helium app. Start typing in Helium. As you can tell it came up here and I'm gonna click on install. Now we head back over to the Nano X. It wants us to put in our password. And as it's installing, it's also loading on the Nano X as you can tell here. And we have our Helium app. From here what you wanna do is go ahead and select it with the both buttons so that you have the waiting for commands. And for the next step, you're gonna to wanna to close down the Ledger Live app. Okay, from here, we head over to the Helium website. Once again, I'll put the link in the description and we wanna download the Ledger CLI. So you can tell right here from the beginning, it goes over all the stuff that we've pretty much done so far. And now we get to the point where we wanna actually download the executable file. Okay, so we'll get to here, we'll click on the GitHub so you want to download version 2.2.3, and from here you'll select your operating system. Go ahead and download. Okay, so I extracted or unzipped the Helium folder. It's here now on my desktop. And what I want to do is rename it to just something a little bit more simple. I'm just going to call it a Helium Ledger. From here, what I want to do is open up a command prompt. Okay, from here we have our command prompt open. Now I'm going to go back here and I just want to change the directory so that I can change it to the Helium uh, ledger. I'm just going to type in CD and to make it easier, I'm just going to drag over the Helium folder 
and hit enter and now I'm in the proper directory. From there, once again, to make things a little bit easier, I'm just gonna open up the folder and I actually see the executable file here uh, the Helium Ledger uh, CLI. Okay, now from here, you wanna make sure that you check your wallet and make sure that it is unlocked, which mine here happens to be locked. So I'll go ahead, put the password in to unlock it. And of course, you wanna make sure that the Helium app is open and waiting for commands. Okay, now from here, I wanna check my wallet address as well as the balance. And if you see here on the Helium page, it'll tell you what to do. Now, you don't need the period forward slash here for this Windows version and you just want to start with the word helium and helium dash leisure dash cli space balance and i'll hit enter and there is our address now what we want to do is get this information in the new helium app we want to make sure that bluetooth is enabled and to be able to do that we're going over to control panel and we'll double press hold down menu comes up for settings we'll cycle through the settings and here we are bluetooth is already enabled if it wasn't, we would just double press. And there we are, and we're enabled, so we are good to go. So now we're back to the Ledger site where it's going to teach us how to access your Ledger HNT account via the Helium HNT Wallet mobile app. So you'll go through here, it'll ask you to configure your Bluetooth, which we already did, and make sure that that is enabled. All right, so from here, you're gonna wanna go ahead and download your app, whether it's for iOS or whether it's for Android. Okay, so from here, you want to download the HNT Black app, and hopefully you had configured it by now and did the migration from the Blue app. If not, it's pretty self-explanatory even to set up a new wallet. Go ahead and open up the app. Okay, from there, you're going to see that there are accounts up on top that you have created already. If not, you will just see to be able to create a new account. But for the purpose of adding our ledger, we are going to add a new account. So we'll click on Add New Account. Lower everything else, as you could tell here, we are at create new account. Now up on top, you'll see that there is new import and ledger. You're gonna wanna go ahead and click on ledger. And now you wanna pair the ledger to the wallet. Okay, so from here, you'll see the Helium app. You're gonna wanna activate and waiting for commands. And we wanna go ahead and pair our ledger. Now it is asking us Bluetooth or USB. We have both choices with the Nano X. So we're gonna go ahead and click on Bluetooth. Looking for device, found it, click on it, and here we go. Now it's asking me to pair. Let me go ahead and pair it. The ledger wants me to confirm the pairing, so I'll go ahead and confirm it. Back to waiting for replies, back at the app now, and here we go. Ledger account number one came up and import that account. Now if you had other accounts from a different cold wallet and you had multiple accounts and multiple addresses, you can go here and keep importing accounts, but for the purpose of this video, we don't need to get into that. So we're just going to click on import accounts, ledger paired successfully, view account, and here we have it. It was just created, so we knew we had no HNT in there. And then from here, if you end up going into different settings, you'll be able to copy your address, you'll be able to share your address, so you can go ahead and see what your address actually is. And from here, you want to make sure that you compare this HNT address to the one that was created in the CLI. Now keep in mind, any time that you're doing transactions and sending to this address, no big deal. But when you were sending from this address that you just cr uh, created on the ledger, you're going to have to pair your ledger with your app on this phone in order to be able to send those transactions. And remember, the cool thing is your private keys always stay on the ledger, enhancing your security. Okay, so all that's really left to do is for you to transfer your HNT from your other wallets into your new ledger address. Keep in mind when you are doing these transactions for any new address, send very little amounts, send an HNT, send half an HNT, just make sure everything's good to go, everything works well before you actually commit your full balance over to any new wallet. If you're interested in the information that I'm conveying, be sure to subscribe and uh, hit that bell for notifications because I certainly appreciate your support. So bottom line, if you want a little bit more peace of mind and definitely enhance security with your cryptocurrency and specifically with your Helium tokens, definitely get yourself a cold wallet and just as importantly or even more importantly, be sure to back up that seed phrase on your crypto tag.